Bon giorno, welcome back to the Italian campaign. So, the invasion fleet uh, sitting right outside of northern Egypt has yet to generate a conquest mission for me, but it has given me this. A battle with the Chinese Dekai class battleship, armed with six 19.1 inch guns. I've got <laughs> a bunch of uh, old ships, basically. Some of them are not too outdated, like the Montan de Oro, the Aquila, and Regina Maria Pia, and of course the Austrians and the Invasion Barge, and the Delaware. So, let's see how this goes. I could, of course, just offer the Chinese peace by now. Because they don't really have a lot of ships uh, to fight at the moment. Let's just see here. That's a lot of battleships. You can join in that division. Do I just want to have all of these in, uh, in one big division? Sure. Sure, why not? Let's see, Delaware. You're kind of holding the uh, the battlecruiser division back with your laughably bad top speed. San Antonio and Perla are decently fast. Also, I got a bunch of heavy cruisers. Are they going to be any use against that battleship, though? I kind of doubt it. Peloro, you can detach. You're kind of, kind of slow. You can just go home. Vesuvius and Roma, you can zoom out. Asking these guys. They're a mix of different classes, but they all have the 35 knot top speed. Again, not thinking they're going to be too useful against that battleship, but they do um, they do have the speed to catch up if it tries to run. Oh, it's that far out. It does try to run. Okay. It's kind of understandable when, uh, just in terms of battleships, I outnumber it 8 to 1. Okay, so these battleships are just not going to do anything because they will not catch up. Uh, the fastest ones have a top speed of 25 knots, which isn't much. Some of them are stuck at 21 knots because they, uh, they are old. They are just weight to add to the uh, formation for uh, invasion purposes. How fast was this battleship? I forget. I think it was like 28 knots. Something like that. It's a big boy. It's got big boy guns. Not too many of them. 52 kilometers. Uh, these Mark IV 12 inch guns range of 32 kilometers. Yeah, my cruisers can catch up. Maybe the battle cruisers too. Except for the Delaware. The ugly ducking duckling <laughs> of this force, although she does have armor. I just wish I would have gotten the uh design plans for this. Because I could have made it pretty good with a refit, I think. But I didn't, so it's stuck like this. I don't want to look at it. It's uh offensive. Oh, 
Example 0 main gun range, 34 kilometers. If I can bring the cruisers in, maybe score a couple of uh, flooding hits. And the battle cruisers can catch up, flood it out some more. Let's not have all of these in a division. Let's uh, let's pick out the slower ones. Basically, the Frederick invasion barge, Arpad, and Glorreicher. You are detaching into your own uh, division. So these guys can speed up to uh, their top speed, which is a little bit higher. But even so, I will need uh, I will need to score some flooding hits for them to have a chance of catching up. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to upload it, because very little happened in that episode I recorded, the last one. But I did fight this battleship, here we go, 28.4 knots, with a bunch of crew, uh, DDs, but I failed to sink it. It was maneuverable enough to uh, avoid my torpedoes, but it doesn't have a lot of armor. Yeah, 28.4 knots. Cruisers are catching up, but they're gonna have to face uh, face the wrath of these 19-inch guns before they get into range. Luckily, they are only Mark II, so they're not super accurate or fast firing. But if they hit, well. My cruisers will have a bad time if they get hit by 19-inch guns. What kind of uh, shells do you have? Standard. Vesuvius is opening up. Trieste will be in range soon. About my uh, my battle cruisers, uh, they're a bit far out still. There we go. Landing some hits, not super effective. But at least we're doing some damage. They're firing HE, which is uh, probably not a bad choice given the armor it has. Which is either 9 on the main belt or basically nothing anywhere else. Yeah, I can pen your basically nothing, even with HE. Maybe I won't need the battleships to catch up. Maybe the cruisers can just finish the, the job themselves. Dekai. Like, it's not... Apart from the armor and having Mark II guns, it's not terrible, I guess. Well, armor and firepower are two kind of important things for a battleship, so I guess it is kind of bad. There we go, flooding. It's gonna slow down now. It's down to 26.1 knots. She actually hit me, but didn't do anything. There's 
secondary tower is out. Uh, she did something now, Vesuvius. Lost most of her bow section, but no flooding. I think my cruisers can finish her off. There we go, engine damage. So, my battle cruisers will soon be in range. start landing some 12 inch hits if there's anything left of this battleship by then some more splashes but this uh, I guess this kind of works there we go continue Dekai going to have angle issues soon. There we go. Angle, angle, angle. I like that she can no longer fire those big main guns. Twelve inch guns on the battle reserves are opening up. But at this point, it doesn't really matter, because the cruiser's got it done. And deck high sinks due to heavy flooding. Uh, 16,000. Not too shabby. Peace treaty, we are winning. Mm. I want to see what the army can do. I'm invading Afghanistan and one of the Chinese uh, homeland provinces. And it's not like this war is costing me too much, really. Germany is invading Venezuela? Are they now? Yeah, they are. Mm, is that going to be enough? That's only 235,000 tons. Uh, I would think they need more to take Venezuela, but maybe not. That's a lot of oil, though, if they take it. But here we go. 34% into Afghanistan. And Xinjiang. Uh, it's not going too well. I could probably take Afghanistan as part of the uh, the peace treaty. It's not worth too much, so I think this might even be enough victory points to take it. Uh, Xinjiang would be nice just to uh, connect Mongolia to the rest of my empire. But again, it's not worth too much. None of the Chinese regions are worth much. And Japan is actually taking northeast China. How close is China to uh, to collapsing now? Uh, kind of close. Not ex not as close as the uh, as Russia. 
having their GDP down to only 37 million. And I still have some naval funds, though. I think they... Uh, I think the AI gets uh, gets bailed out easier than a player when they go broke. Out of the AI nations, Japan and Germany are pretty much the only ones with okay economies. Everyone else is just shrinking by a lot. What kind of big guns am I getting now? Mark 5 15 inch guns. That will be useful. The Bastada class is going to love that. Uh, Germany pushing into eastern Poland. Let's see, how much stuff am I building and refitting at the moment? Uh, refitting the uh, Scipiano Africano class. Making them a little bit better. Again, if I uh, decide not to upload that episode because very little happened. What I did find was that because of the changes to how barrel length affects accuracy, these light cruisers basically had a 0% chance to hit at anything past 12,000 meters. So I had to shorten the barrels and change some uh, propellants and stuff to give them any chance to hit. Also gave them gas turbines. Which made them uh, quite a bit lighter. In fact, I c they have a uh, max displacement of 10,000 tons, but I couldn't fill it out without just making them horribly expensive by increasing the speed. There was just nothing else I could add to them. Let's see, China. You have a heavy cruiser here. I got two battle cruisers here. I think my battle cruisers will uh, trump your uh, heavy cruiser. Let's see, can I uh, can I annoy the French, or did I do that last episode, uh, last month? I did. Still far too friendly. And the war continues. Let's strike. We sank five transports. And here we go. The Ninxia is about to meet her end. Let's go straight at her. I think we are faster. And she's turning to run. Which makes sense. But I don't think she can run. I think these are quite a bit faster. I think it had a top speed of 30 knots, thereabouts. I should probably have checked that before going into battle. We are almost in range. I was considering uh, pausing the recording, but it seems it will not be long. Before we see some uh, some shots going out. There we go. We are firing. Not hitting much. But it's a fast moving cruiser at 40 kilometers, so... Uh, Perfect accuracy would not be uh, expected. There we go. One hit. It actually 
actually did 6,000 damage. Maybe some, uh, yeah, did some flooding too. So she's gonna slow down now and take more hits. My ships are switching to HE. I do get a minus 7.2 for uh, guns of different barrels, but all in all, it's not too bad. I still like that mix of uh, twins and triples. And you have some armor. 2.9 main deck. Not really enough to protect you though. Well, kinda. You get some ricochets. Uh, 25 kilometers, 5.1 inch deck pen with AP, 1.7 with HE. See what happens. It does more damage. Quite a bit more damage. There we go. Hands <laughs> of flooding. All right. One cruiser down. Kind of an unfair matchup, but there we go. All right, let's see. Uh, Venezuela allied with Russia, and Germany failed to take them. Okay. Let's see, thirty-seven percent, seven and ten. So it is going forwards, kind of, but very slowly. Uh, they have another heavy cruiser there. Let's intercept if we can. Kind of a strange movement pattern, but okay. How about I just uh, try to block Port Said? Maybe it will work. Maybe it will not work. Let's see, the British <laughs> advancing to northeast China is actually going well. Not, well, okay, the British army logistics not that much better than the Chinese. No, that's the Jap that's Japan, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm sorry, not Britain, Japan. And Japan has 100%. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Right, another month. No battles. But we are now in the green, those refits having uh, having been completed. And Greece and China allied. Oh, did I forget to provoke France? I think I did. Let's do it this turn. See if it helps. Yeah, we are eight months away from getting the Mark V 15s. And then I hope the Mark V 16s is next. 
and I won't have to waste time getting the Mark IV twenties, which I have no plans of using. Ah, eh, better reload, better most things, at the cost of weight. Fine, now we're gonna have to uh, attempt to intercept that light cruiser. Two light cruisers here. Well, it's gonna take a while for them to uh, arrive. Four months. And two turns for this. Okay. Another month. Australia just found oil. Are they still my ally? No, France, I don't want to be your friend. Uh, Canada wants to buy a battle cruiser. Fine. Ottoman Empire. Okay. Southern Turkey. Yes. Yes, it actually showed up now. Finally. That's what I've been waiting for. Let's move this uh, huge task force. 440,000 tons. Should be enough, maybe? But finally, <laughs> that's the conquest uh, battle I was hoping for. And that I have accepted a couple times before, it just never actually materialized. Uh, Xinjiang is having a rebellion. It would kind of suck if I took it and then it rebelled and I lost it again. Let's see, what does China have here? One light cruiser. Let's move in to engage. With the Folgore and Tripoli. Uh, we should probably have a battle with this. So, yeah, we're gonna beat up on some, uh, <laughs> some light cruisers, I guess. Who else is China at war with? Germany and Japan. So they're gonna have the, uh, the everything kicked out of them by <laughs> this German task force. And China is trying to engage this with a single heavy cruiser. Good luck. Good luck, China. Are they close to collapsing yet? Well, yes. But also, they have been for a while now. And I've constantly said, oh, they're gonna collapse now. Any month now. And they just have not. Uh, Red Cross. Yeah, sure, we can exchange some prisoners. China and Russia are warring their admirals. I didn't want to strike, I wanted a battle. Bolivia has been conquered by the United States. And Japan is trying to provoke me. Can we get a battle here? Maybe? Perhaps? It's just sitting there. 59%. Am I going to have to add more ships to that um, invasion? I think I do. 
Let's add the cheapest ones. They're all expensive. Do I have any cheaper ones here in La Spezia? Yeah, I do. Balboa, Massachusetts, San Andrea. Let's just send all of you. And these ones too, they're kind of old and uh, not too expensive to keep in uh, in the field. Let's gonna move this so they don't accidentally join up. All right, 57, 16, 18. Let's go then, December. Did I forget to annoy the French again? I think I did. Iraq is now my ally. Excellent. Greece's new leader. Yes. We are attacking Greece as well. Rhodes. Okay. I can pull out of both of these. I'm pretty sure I can do both of these, yeah. 97%. I could add a couple more uh, light ships to this invasion here. I would more like to take the actual main part of Greece though. Two Chinese light cruisers. Do I have anything in uh, in the vicinity? Like for example the Superb. That should work. Hopefully we get a battle now. Possibly several. I'll just keep sailing back and forth and not getting any uh, any contact with this single light cruiser. Kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Let's, uh, while well, I remember, increase tension with France. How's my relationship with the US? Uh, minus 35. Mm, they have quite a hefty, uh, hefty fleet. Would be fun to fight. 1944 now. All right, we actually have a convoy battle. Uh, United States really does not like me, uh, which is good. That could make things a little bit more interesting. I want to keep fighting the Chinese a little bit more. Strike. Oh, here we go. That's an actual port strike against actual ships. Oh, wow. And it's thrown together the uh, the invasion fleet with the Balboa and everything. Hosho class battleship. Kasagi class. Yeah, these are all very old. The minor uh, nations, they do not like to scrap ships. So they keep most everything in service. As you've seen with the Danes when they've uh, come to help me out. It's all museum crap. 
Then again, <laughs> I've got some... Uh, I got some museum-ready antiques in my task force as well. But at least most of it has been kept relatively up to date with the refits. Let's fight. Now, this is going to be a bit of a slideshow, I think, with all of these ships. And... okay, that's an interesting looking battlecruiser. And also, I wish I had some of the uh, some of the DDs with the long-range torpedoes here. But I was simply not expecting to actually uh, actually get a battle. I just threw to get together some uh, some tonnage for invasion purposes. Oh, that's a lot of ships. That's that's a lot of stuff I gotta control. We can try to make the best of it. Somewhere here is that old, old heavy cruiser with the uh, low top speed. Yeah, that's you. Massachusetts is here. Uh, I know the uh, the Delaware. Should not be in a division with these two battle cruisers. She can join division two, because yeah, they got a similar top speed. Is that division two? It says so here, but I don't think it is. That's the wrong division. There we go. San Antonio and Perla, you are just free to roam about. Peloro, you can also just um, attach that to that division. Just because you're kind of slow. Yeah, it's a slideshow. But it should get better once we've uh, sunk a large portion of that enemy fleet. I'm having these go right. The rest of my fleet goes the other way. Gonna have things fire at well, mostly. Now everything is trying to target the uh, the friggin' little uh, DDs. It's probably not a good idea. Let's uh, let's just take a look at the battleships. They don't look too bad. Where are the battle cruisers? That would be you. That actually does not look bad at all. I think these might actually be kind of modern. Let's check out their uh, gun ranges. You get 17 inch guns, 35. Yeah, those might, might be Mark 3s. So these things um, should probably be prioritized as targets. They had how many battle cruisers? Only two. Yeah, let's. Uh, 
Regina Maria, San Pietro, Massachusetts, Akia, San Andrea, Balboa, Mount Honduro. So, the biggest battleships focusing on the battle cruisers and everything else. Just pick your own targets. And slow down to uh, cruising speed here. Well, pick your own targets until those DDs start getting uncomfortably close. Torpedo range 8.7. We are landing some pretty big hits. I have a feeling the uh, the DDs are uh, kind of outdated. Okay, I said uh, I was gonna let you pick your own targets, but in this case, I think it would be very effective to just spread out the love a bit. Hoping to hit as much stuff as possible. You know? There we go. Should be able to score some hits on something with that. They sure had a lot of DDs. All of them have terrible torpedo range. Basically, yeah. Also, if you have secondary range, you are to open fire on whatever is closest. not get too close to those DDs. We get a flash fire on something. got a few too many ships to control at the moment to give you a close-up of, of the carnage. Sorry about that, I know you like seeing, uh, seeing ships explode. Animation barge got a little bit too close. Yeah, slideshow time. Almost forgot about my cruisers and sent them off into uh, into nothingness. I think 
we're going to do this on time screw game speed. Got some ships identified now. Let's pause. Light cruiser, very fast. Mark five guns. Short range torpedoes, fast torpedoes. Uh, DD, I think that's kind of old. Like here, got a huge, like massive. Uh, random ships it would be so sweet to have a couple squadrons with uh, DDs with 20 kilometer torpedoes right about now just send them into the mass of ships that would probably make my game lag a lot more than this. The enemy has done very little damage to me. guns on the DDs. Exactly what's doing what? I'm not entirely sure. But it seems my secondary guns are having a decent effect on these DDs. That. Okay, this guy has decent torpedo range. Do any of the other ones have uh, that kind of torpedo range? You do. All secondaries. Thank you. Okay. You know, there are some of them mixed in that have decent torpedoes. They're probably not as old as some of the other ones. Then you get stuff like this. 8 kilometer torpedoes or... Uh, Hey, uh. You're dangerous. I would feel safer if you were dead. How does Greece have enough money to keep such a huge navy in service? I don't know. Let's take a look at the uh, enemy capital ships. Yamato. Mark II 14 inch guns. Low quality armor. Turbine engines. Yeah, that's an old, old ship. Kaitan. Mark two Congo Mark three fourteens uh, ten inches of armor all over Notoro Mark three twelve inch guns. Yeah they had more than two battle cruisers, but 
I think they only had two other ones with, uh, with the 17 inch guns. Mark II 15s. No armor. There you go. Mark three seventeens. This is a dangerous customer. She even has some armor. A Gen one radar. Uh, they had some battleships that were uh, not too terrible, I think. But it's just such a mess of a battle. I have to focus on the ships that are getting uh, swarmed by DDs, and also the uh, the ships that are about to exit the battle because I was preoccupied. But something else. And also the cruisers that are getting a little bit too close for comfort. Let's spread out the love in this uh, this huge cluster of, uh, of ships as well. Targeting some DDs, targeting some light cruisers. Uh, yeah. The idea is that the more we spread out the fire, the more chance there is to accidentally hit something. It seems to be working. I think it's time for a, uh, a thumbnail. to grasp the chaos of the situation. That's an interesting looking boat. With the Greek flag, but that's not quite chaotic isn't enough, is it? There we go. Some ancient Greek triremes. True battle of antiquity here.
And I think I just have to um, to pause the game whenever I order some course changes here. <laughs> just because it's lagging so much. No, 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 no. Secondaries on <laughs> on the DD, please. Don't waste time with secondaries on the Yamato. When you can just delete a DD instead. Maybe get these battleships a little bit closer. Because speaking of secondaries, they got quite a few of them, especially the. Um, well, the Regina Maria Pia actually has very decent secondaries. The Austrians too. Ah, they're only 4 inch. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of ships with very big damage numbers to their names. And this is done. We're up to uh, 1.7 million already. Uh, <laughs> there we go, Yamato goes down. I think the total damage number will be know, at least 3 million. When all is said and done. There are so many, uh, so many DDs getting smacked for uh, tens of thousands of damage. And like a single volley. Uh, that's uh, that's an ancient, ancient uh, <laughs> heavy cruiser, Mark III, ten-inch guns. Starting ships could confidently go up against this. Lag is uh, not as laggy anymore. Secondaries on the first DD. Launch torpedoes. Invasion barge, I want you detaching. Oh, your seven inch guns are actually doing a lot of damage. I want the invasion barge detaching. I want these ships to, uh, Start maneuvering. No sign of the torpedoes yet. Were they uh were they stealthy torpedoes? Come on, I click pulse. There are some torpedoes. Not stealthy. I think they're standard torpedoes. Invasion barge might hit one. I think the rest of the battleships are fairly safe. Invasion barge avoided. Okay. Uh, trying to select a target here. It's kind of hard when it's laggy. You. I want you dead. What 
cruiser actually... Actually, San Andrea, you can just blap that light cruiser if you please. Hilariously, the invasion barge has avoided all the torpedoes. I want to pause again to issue some course changes for the cruisers. Just as I said, the game felt less laggy. It started uh, being quite choppy again. But zooming around when it at pause is not too bad. And these battleships are fine. Uh, cruisers a little bit closer. Go these guys have range. Uh, almost. And complete the turn. at 2.4 million damage. Battleships and battlecruisers going down. Almost surprised I've not been credited with any red-on-red -red torpedo hits yet. But I guess that's one advantage the enemy has with their short-range torpedoes. They're not able to uh, target something at long range, only to hit their own ships. Is that one dead light cruiser? Quite. Okay, Massachusetts, the battle cruiser, Kila, the heavy cruiser. Okay, I gotta pause it to do this. Massachusetts, battle cruiser, Kila, heavy cruiser, San Andrea, the other heavy cruiser. armor does Shoei have? Uh, decent. Yeah, whoever said put some secondaries on the on the invasion barge it's a pretty good idea. The 7 inch guns are uh, racking up the damage. feeling a little bit better now with the massive enemy uh, blob fleet having been reduced to more manageable manageable number there's a Congo with her mark 3 14.4 inch guns Kaitan with 13.6s wing turrets even Mark 
two 13 inch guns. Yeah, this must be quite, uh, quite outdated. can uh, speed up and zoom in. I had two more somewhere. Here we go. Now it's just uh, close in for the kills. Not sure if we're gonna hit the uh, the predicted three million damage mark. Just not that many ships left. Seventeen-inch guns did some damage. Impressive, considering they didn't have that many of them. They seem to have been the most uh, most effective ships they had. Fourteen-inch guns did a bit too, but they had many of them. The enemy is out of the EDs now. Uh, just the battleships left. And the heavy cruiser. Which. Uh, this is not old. Mark 5 10 inch guns. The hull looks absolutely ancient. It's even got radar. What kind of ship is this? it's Japanese built, did they really research the Mark V 10 inch gun before a hull like that went obsolete? Okay. Because it can't be a refit because uh, the thing where you used to be able to sell refits to the AI. That's not a thing anymore. That's strange. Maybe the Japanese AI focused uh, gun technology. Or maybe it's just a kind of hull that doesn't go obsolete, even though it looks like uh, it's a very old one. Congo! Not gonna last much longer. We're at 2.7 million. It's only the battleship Chitin left. No need to 
micro target selection now. There's only one option. Can we make it 2.8? I don't think she has that much damage left in her. There we go. Almost 2.8. That was quite the battle. 85,000 victory points. Not even the most I've gotten. But that's because most of these ships were really, really old. And <laughs> not worth much. Like 87 million, 56 million. That's less than one of my DDs. Okay. So that was that. That was more, uh, more of a battle than I ever expected. Australia wants to buy a battle cruiser. Okay. France dislikes me. Yeah, 100% on both of these. Amazing. What kind of convoy battle is this? Scipion Africano recently refit. This is a Bay High class light cruiser. Let's do this real quick and end the episode. At least it's a 1v1, so it shouldn't be a uh, shouldn't be a slideshow. Now with the upgrade, she's a little bit faster, longer range torpedoes and guns that actually has a have a chance to hit at range. Not much more armor though. 2.7 was the max I could put on this hull. So that would be the transport. And this, the light cruiser. I think we're just gonna sink the uh, sink the cruiser first. There we go, scoring hits, doing damage. Torpedoes going out, probably not gonna hit. Yeah, this cruiser is working much better now. torpedoes going out but the enemy ship is dead now let's just slaughter the uh, the transport it will not take long there we go yeah the new and improved Scipion Africano class actually decent and still cheaper than this Chinese one now I'm gonna try to orchestrate a war with France or the US or possibly both it could take a while so unless there are any more battles like uh, like the one we just had with the uh, with the Greeks I don't think uh, I don't think I'm going to show you what happens in between because it probably won't be much. Because China, yeah, they just don't have a lot left. And these cruisers refuse to engage that cruiser. And they could just keep on chasing each other for uh, for a long time. 
so yeah probably gonna be a time skip hopefully not too many years goodbye and take care